What's up my babies? Right on time for the new year. We're going to be playing in this gorgeous 10 inch bob. She comes courtesy of Zomi Beauty Hair. And get a load of that texture, that bounce, that body. This one is definitely a must have. Now I'm looking a mess but my skin is looking so much better this year. Skincare routine coming up soon. But for now we're going to be playing in this one here. And this is a pre-parted lace wig. This is the inside. I went ahead and added my elastic band. She has combs in there, adjustable straps. Literally everything you need to get started. Now once you add your elastic band, the wig will become glueless. The wig is glueless without it, but if it doesn't fit your head tight, the elastic band will make it perfectly tight. Now the excess lace on this one was super long, so I'm just going to cut it right above my eyes. That way I can see in the mirror while I'm going ahead and customizing her. We're definitely going to be customizing her to make this hairline look much more natural. Now, as you guys can see, I was in a good mood. I was having me a good old time, a little party going on. But this is a quick close-up of what the hairline looks like close up. Now we're going to be tweezing this one behind the hairline. Now normally I would tweeze in the front first. To basically to break it up and not have it look so boxy and then I go behind the hairline maybe like two rows but you know I skipped that part today and you're gonna see it's gonna come out super good so basically here I'm se sectioning off exactly what I want behind the hairline and basically this is pretty much gonna be what I'm gonna use as baby hair but first we're gonna go ahead and make it look a lot more natural so I'm gonna take a pair of tweezers and I'm just gonna have at it now you guys did see I went ahead and wet it down. Now you don't want it super duper wet, but you just kind of want to moisten it so that it's easier to number one, see exactly where you're tweezing and number two, it just for some reason makes it so much easier to pluck the hair out. Now I'm so sorry, I was kind of out of frame looking down too far. I should have been um, a little bit more in position with the camera. So I did cut a little bit of it out, but you guys get the picture. I'm just going against the grain and tweezing the hair backwards. When you tweeze the hair going in this motion, those hairs that you pull out are going to pretty much rest and lay in the remainder of the wig. So that when you go ahead and brush and comb the wig out, you're going to see all this hair in there. You can see the left side versus the right side and you can definitely see that we're making so much progress and making this look super duper duper slayed. So I went ahead and pulled the hair back just to make sure everything looked right and there was no bald spots. Especially when you're new to this, it's very 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 important to stop every so often and check your work just to make sure that you are doing your wig justice and you're not making any holes in the lace and you're not making any bald spots. I really like the way this sort of mimics like a nappy hairline a little bit the way I did it so that it looks more textured and not just so silky in the hairline. Basically how my hairline will look or similar. Now I'm just taking a razor blade and I'm cutting the baby hair um, how I want it. Normally I would go much shorter. I probably would go back in this one and cut it definitely much shorter. I find that when you make it super duper duper short it's when it looks most natural. And basically um, off camera I went ahead and tweezed the other side just to make it match. And I made the baby hair. Now I'm pleased with the way this looks. You can definitely go in even more. I probably will go in even more but this is great for the sake of this video. I went ahead off camera and added my bonding agent to my hairline and this one I used the got to be glued free spray. I let it get tacky for about 15 seconds and then I went ahead and applied my lace right on top and it secures the wig without using any glue. It's just a hairspray like any other and as soon as you wet it, it'll come right up. So now we're going to go ahead and comb out all that hair we tweezed and you're going to see all that hair. It's not because the wig is shedding, it's because we tweezed all the hair and it was resting in the wig. As I said before, now if I did not mention this one is 10 inches and I find that 10 inches is the perfect length to not rest too much on my shoulders but not be too short at the exact same time. Now I'm going to even up my parting and make it exactly how I want it. You want to line up your parting to match with your nose. The center of your nose is basically where the center of your part should be. Now this part looks a little bit too unnatural. If we would have went ahead and bleached the knots, it would have helped tremendously. But because we didn't, we want to go in and we're going to use our tweezers to kind of mimic a more natural hairline. There I thought I made a hole. I didn't. But it's very, very, very easy to make a hole, especially in the parting with tweezers. I've done it a million and one times and not today sis. You have to be very, very careful. So the first step I kind of was tweezing going like 
towards my ears from the center to, towards my ears um, to kind of make it a little bit jagged and now I'm going directly up the center of the parting just to kind of pull up so a bunch of the knots out of the parting so that there's not too many black dots in the actual parting and I'm checking my work to make sure I like where everything is laying and I love it so I'm gonna go ahead and lay this wig I'm gonna use foam lotion and just do my little swoops these swoops will look much better if I would tweeze the hair or cut the hair a little bit shorter but I do leave the baby hair a little bit longer now it still looks really good but you know you can definitely go in and customize more if you want it to look even more natural. If, you knew, if you're new to this, I would highly recommend that you do it that first time as I did it. And then you kind of style it and just wear it around and just see how you feel about it. And then go back in, you know, in a day or two and kind of redo it to, you know, make any more modifications that you like. But if you're new, I definitely wouldn't recommend trying to get it all 100% right the first time because that's where you may make the mistake of over tweezing or something like that. Now we're going to go ahead and heat up the hot comb. This one, I finally found one that I love. I found one on Amazon and it wasn't as hot. I found another one at a hair store and I accidentally burned it. So this time I have the perfect one. This one heats up to 500 degrees. I have it linked down below. It gets extremely hot and it gets the job done. Now it seems like it's not making a huge difference, but trust me, it made a huge difference. You guys see how much body this wig has? It's amazing. I like to just go around and press. It really doesn't make a, as big of a difference in the length of the hair as much as it does in like the crown of the hair. But I still do it and it just gives me such an amazing finish. So I'm definitely feeling myself and loving the results. Now off camera I went ahead and reparted the center and I went ahead and pressed it with the hot comb. I'm so mad I did not get that on camera because it made such a huge transformation. If you rewind back into when I first made the party to this, this looks like natural hair and the flat iron or the hot comb rather was the secret weapon. I'm so mad I didn't record it, but this looks amazing, especially considering the fact that we did not bleach any knots or do any kind of witchcraft. We went ahead and just literally, literally tweezed it out a little bit, and then we went ahead and used the hot comb. Now off camera, I went ahead and beat this face, and we're gonna add the powder to the party to match my skin complexion. This is just a foundation powder. Use whatever foundation matches your skin perfectly. If I did not mention, this is 100% Remy Human Hair. The texture is Brazilian. Um, the lace is a medium brown lace. And also the texture is Silky Straight. Sorry, I had a brain fart. Um, the natural hair color works great. It's not too light. It's not too dark. Sometimes I feel like when you get natural brown, it's like a light faint color. And this one was not at all. I went around and I flat ironed the hair all the way around just to kind of bump it at the ends and it came out amazing. With the bob this length, be sure not to bump it too much. You don't want it to be like too cuffed around your face where it kind of looks like Dora. You can also add some big curls to it to kind of add a little bit of body and texture. But I love the way this one came out. Look at the parting. I think that looks so, so good. Now let me show you guys what it looks like from the back. Comment below and let me know what you think of this bob. Amazing! Okay, so I am back. This one was definitely super simple and easy. 10 inch short bob. It's a nice, you know, healthy, silky texture. Now, it did have a nice texture to it before, but I feel like adding a little bit of heat definitely kind of made it a little bit more silky. 10 inch to me is like the perfect length. I feel like 12 kind of sits at that awkward um, length like on your shoulder. Eight is a little bit like to door the explorer and 10 is perfectly like in between where it you know sits at your shoulders but it doesn't sit on your shoulders and it doesn't cuff like your ear um, too much if that makes any sense so this is the electric hot comb that I use definitely a great one um, it's just an on and off button and it doesn't um, adjust if that makes any sense but she's really 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 nice um, she's up she goes up to 500 degrees which is really 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 hot so definitely I'll have her I'll have this and everything I use linked in the description box <coughs> 
I definitely have this one linked in the description bar for you to purchase. And don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share with your friends. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.